All right, so let's uh, finish up this section by adding in some grasses into our areas that we've laid out inside of the Houdini engine inside of Unity. All right, and this is actually relatively easy uh, because we set up things quite nicely. Uh, so let's jump over into Unity and quickly just talk about what we're going to do. All right, so here I have two new prefabs that I made inside of uh, Houdini. All right, so we have a couple of grass clumps here, and they both have their LEDs, which are automatically created inside of Houdini as well. And they're all set up and ready to go. And I made two variations. And the second variation just has a, a difference in its um, emissiveness for its material there. All right, so if we were to actually select uh, one of the grass clumps in there, you can see I just changed the emission color just to give some var variation and uh, test out this uh, whole process. All right, so what I want to do is I've already made prefabs out of them. All right, and I dragged them into our prefabs folder which means that uh, what's going to happen is the top network is actually going to pick all this up so if i were to actually go into my top network over here all right we set it up so that it's looking at that particular folder all right and in this case what we need to do is we want to go and find all of the grasses so we're gonna have to go and uh, select or find that particular folder as well so we're going to say find grasses or get grasses right here Cool, and we're just going to pump that into the merge. That way we're merging everything together. Alrighty, cool. And all this stuff is going to be fine because it's going to dynamically write out a new CSV file for me. That's going to include the gra grasses. And so we're going to have to add that to our scattering uh, HDA. So you can see that all these other guys have their pattern set up with a channel string. All right, which means that we need to go back up to our type properties window for our top network up here. Okay. And let's go into our scattering folder here. And what we want to do is we want to add another one of these guys. All right, so we have this file input here. All right, so we have these file inputs that allows us to go and select a particular folder. Okay, so let's just uh, drag out another one of those guys. All right, like so. And we're just going to call this our uh, grasses path. And we'll say grasses prefabs, just to stay in line with our naming. All right. And that should be good for now. All right. So now we've got another file input there that we can utilize inside of our top network. So what I'm going to do is go up to my home folder, which is your documents. I'm going to go into my project, my Unity project here. Assets, intro to PDG, prefabs, foliage, and then grasses, like so. We'll select one of those guys. Cool. So all I want to do is just replace that home attribute there, or global variable, with that C drive value. And then we're going to put in the wildcard. So we pick up all the grass prefabs. This way we can dynamically just add more grass prefabs. All right. So, and I'm just going to make that default so I don't have to copy that. And that's really just for this course. I would actually leave the default open. So that way, whoever is using this inside of Unity can set it themselves. But I'm just going to set the default so you guys don't have to watch me type that again. Great. So now if I were to jump into my top network and cook this guy, we should get a whole bunch of grasses. We're actually getting all the, the uh, bushes here. All right, so we're obviously getting the wrong channel string, so uh, we could change this ourselves. We come in here, and we could look for the grasses path. There we go. And we will cook this again, so it's dirty and cook the selected. And there we go. So now we have our two grass prefabs. Cool. All right, so you can see how quickly we could just keep adding on to this complete system that we're, we're generating here. All right, so these things can grow as long as you just, you know, keep them relatively organized. All right, so with that, let's just uh, write to our CSV file so we can see the results of that. So let's dirty and cook that. Bam, it goes super quick. All right, so we should now have all of our grasses inside of the CSV file as well, which we can use inside of our scatter HDA to add grasses to specific points. All right, so there you go. You can see we have a grass clump right here, 
and we have a grass clump right here. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to jump over into our scatter HDA and get that updated. All right, so let's go do that. Let's go up to our SOP HDAs here. And we're going to go into, well, actually, let's just make sure that we have our two proper outputs selected in our top network here. Always helps. All right, so we just want to make sure that we get one of these guys. Like so. We also do need to recook this. All right, so there we go. We got it to cook. We're getting all of our inputs now, so we just need to select one that has the area and the tile overlapping there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. This will work out nicely. All right, so with that selected, now we can work on our scatter HDA. All right, because we're getting all the proper information. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get uh, all the grasses. So we just need to add a new blast node here. And we also want to add in another section to our code here that looks for uh, the grasses. All right, so we just need to do this. We'll call this type three and we'll say grasses. Because remember, we're looking at the path and that should be the path inside of Unity there or the folder name. So grasses, perfect. All right, so now we're type three. And what we want to do is make sure that we actually add this here. There we go. Cool. So now we want to set this to type three and we should have just two points now for type three in there. And it looks like we're getting all the bushes again. Yep, those are getting all the bushes there. And let's just go and check this out. Let's just roll through the whole network here. We are in fact still getting all the bushes. Aha, and this also needs to be updated here. Cool. And it looks like we need to just update this. So let's just go and see if that works for us. And it's not pulling in any of the grasses because for some reason the file itself isn't updating for this particular purpose. All right, so I got it. So uh, to fix that, to just kind of auto load it, I just uh, locked it and then unlocked it. And that basically got me my updated CSV file. So now I have the two grass clumps. So perfect. All righty. So what we need to do now is we actually need to basically create another instance adder node here because you can see we're running out of uh, inputs there. And so a good workaround, or at least the workaround in this case, is to basically just duplicate this functionality and just take care of the grasses itself. So uh, we can worry about that here in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create another scatter. I'm just going to take the, the bushes scatter node here. We'll call this grasses like so. And uh, what I want to do in this case is just kind of modify the mask a little bit. All right. And I want to make sure that I'm pulling in all this information appropriately here. All right. And just want to make sure that we put that to no geometry. And again, I just want to go and make sure that I have my proper inputs selected. There we go. All right. So now that we've got all of our geometry in place, we can select our grasses scatter node here. And we, what we want to do is we really just want to scatter inside of the area now. All right, so we need to create a different type of mask for this. So what I want to do is I want to mask by object again over here. And let's take the terrain from here because it's just going to be a separate process really. And we will get our areas. All right. All right. So now we're masking by object. Very cool. And what I want to do is I actually want to uh, blur that a little bit. All right. Just because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make it so that the grasses are really just out in the outer parts. And as we get into the middle of this area, there's really not going to be as many grasses. So I'm going to invert that mask. And we're going to create another mask by object here. So we're going to take this and what I want to do is just put this back down. We're not going to invert that. We're actually, we are going to invert that. And what I'm going to do is just subtract it. So what I'm left with is just this kind of outer soft blur. 
right? So that's where I want to scatter everything or scatter all these grasses here. All right, cool. So that's what I was looking for. It gives it a nice kind of fall off from the forest down into these little grasses. So we can control that fall off by uh, reducing or increasing this blur, actually. There we go. That'll be better. Cool. All right, so let's just increase the, the density a little bit. And that guy is attached. All right, so we're going to pump that all the way up. Because this is grass. So I'm just going to leave that like that. And I'm not going to expose it uh, in this particular lecture because we've gone over, you know, creating all these UI elements quite a bit so far. All right. So then what we need to do is uh, we want to remove all the points that are close to rocks. So we want to take this guy and just pump that in. So if there's any rocks in the way, so we get rid of those guys. So you can see them being deleted there. Very cool. All righty. And I think that will be good for now. So again, we can merge all those guys in because what we're doing is we are looking at the points tag. Remember that. So this tag attribute that's on these points over here. There it is. So grasses. Cool. So we're looking for that inside of this particular instance adder. So I'm just going to copy this guy now and pump that in there. And I'm going to get rid of all these inputs and we're going to take the grasses and put that into that first input. Like so. Let's do that one more time. There we go. Okay, so all we need now is just a, a single one of these condition statements there. And what I'm looking for are grasses. Or points that have the tag grasses on them. And we basically want to just randomize their paths that we get. All right, so let's just verify that in our geometry spreadsheet over here all right and we want to take it from point or geometry one which is this index right here and it looks like it's getting all the bushes currently which is funny these guys are giving me trouble there's the grass clumps and we just need to make sure we do that and that actually looks fine so far yeah because these are all the the points that have been added very cool all right so we should be good to go We've got all of our grasses, so now we have trees, bushes, rocks, we have grasses in a specific area, so we are good to go. So everything should be set up for us. So let's just put that tag on or that display flag on, and let's save this. And remember, we don't have to pull this over to Unity. And everything should be good to go. Let's just do one more check. I always have to check just to make sure. Yeah, we haven't really made any changes to this stuff over here if i take that back we added this guy so we will need to save this and we will need to go and replace that inside of unity all right so let's jump over into unity now and we'll give this a test so again we need to go because we replaced our hda we need to go to our top network here and rebuild the asset just make sure that we add our area back in while we're testing here. Cool. All right. So if everything went well, we should get grasses scattered right on this kind of boundary of that area. So let's go back to our PDG asset link and let's just do a dirty all. And actually we'll do a refresh because we rebuilt. There we go. And we will then go and turn on our terrain scatter and our split terrain. And now what I want to do uh, in the next section is show you guys how to use this auto cook and the H engine data. So that way we don't have to uh, do all that all the time. Okay, so I went and turned the uh, area generator back on just to make sure that the geometry actually gets through. And we'll just uh, reassign this here just to make sure. Shouldn't have to, but just making sure. And let's do a cook output. All right, there we go. So now we have all the grass right where we wanted it. So let me turn off this area generator here. Look at that. We now have 
grass is right on the border there. So we get this nice kind of fall off. Obviously, I need to go through and tweak it some more and not have these grass clumps, you know, sticking out the side there. But you can see how much power there is in uh, setting up these top networks and how much control you can actually produce. It all comes down to the tools that you create and the top nodes that you use. All right, so with that, I'm going to close out this lecture. And in the next, we are going to just do a quick review of all the topics that we learned and move on to the next section. Thanks so much.